Well, hey folks, how are y'all doing? Welcome back, and yeah, what's inside a pellet grill? Well, you know what's inside a pellet grill because you see it all the time, but what we're gonna do, a little bit different, instead of showing you what's inside of there, is we're gonna show you what's inside of there. So what's unique about the Camp Chef Pursuit is that a lot of the pellet grills, the only way you can get into with electronics and everything is from underneath. On this pellet grill, you can get in, into it from the side. So let's pull that panel off so you can see what's inside a pellet grill. Stay tuned. All right, so before we get into the electronics, I figured, you know, why not show everybody, because some of you may be watching this for the first time, and you may be saying, hey, how really does a pellet grill work? So this is the Camp Chef Pursuit, and uh, what we've had, we have two cooking racks on here. Um, some pellet grills do, some pellet grills don't. Some just have a half rack, but, you know, that's neither here, here nor there. So let's take that off. And then after the racks, you've got a grease tray. So this is your grease tray. I cover mine in tin foil just to make um, cleanup easier. What happens as you're cooking any grease, this thing is angled and it goes down to this trough down here and then there's a bucket outside that it drips out to. So, and that comes off easily for, for cleanup. We've got, this grill has got what's called sliding grill technology. So it has a bar on the outside that you pull and then the, you can have flames coming straight up and you can char stuff on it. Uh, a lot of, they, they all have this, this, this plate right here that goes over the flame. Uh, sorry about the noise. And then that's your burn pot right in there. So your burn pot, let me get you a little closer here. Hang on, hang on, be patient with me. I'm an amateur, remember. So there's your burn pot. And you can see on the right hand side there, you can see the tip of an auger. And that auger is what feeds the pellets in. Then right below it, right down there, is, uh, is that's our hot rod. And what that does, in order to start the pellets, this feeds out pellets into here. Here, let's get a couple pellets. Let me show you a couple pellets here. So this is, what, this is what the wood pellets look like. And they go in that pot right there. And you get, obviously, more than that. And then the hot rod starts them up. And you can see those fins there, that's where the air comes out. And we'll show you when we get inside where that air comes from. That starts to fire, and then that auger keeps feeding pellets as needed, and then that blower keeps on moving the air around and keeps the, the heat even in on the inside. So that's how it works on the inside. The, the pellets come from a hopper. That hopper is right there. You can see the pellets in there. And that's all controlled on the outside here by a controller and that's the controller right there and you've got uh, this one has two temp probes you can put in your meat and it's got settings here from uh, low smoke of uh, what is it 160 is low smoke all the way up to 500 degrees so you just move that dial around and then that uh, controls it. The blue buttons are, is one is a bypass for startup, and the other one, what, if you want to see your temp probes, you press that, and it shows uh, the temperature of your food on the inside. So pretty cool. You got a bottle opener there. Some have it, some don't, it's not necessary. But I'll tell you what, let's take a look at the inside, because that's what a lot of people don't see. Stay tuned. There you are, in like Flynn. Like I said, the whole cover, there's, there's a total of eight screws you take out, two in the bottom, three on each side, and it just pulls right out. And that, I really like this because it makes everything so accessible. And you're saying, well, you know, you should never have to access, you know, have accessibility to this, but you never know when something breaks and has to be repaired somewhere down the line. To my knowledge, this is one of the most accessible Pell grills on the market. So starting on the right-hand side here, this is the blower mortar. And that's what sends the air that uh, feeds the, the burner pot that keeps your pellets going. That's, that's, that's what, when you see the air coming out of the vents or something like that, that's the blower that does that. Now in the middle here, this is the auger mortar, and it's got a little fan on it too. And that auger mortar, that's what takes the pellets from the pellet hopper to the burn pot. And that's all controlled by this electronic board here. And that's got uh, all your settings on it. It's got your two uh, meat probes on it. It's got the digital readout on it for the temp. Uh, the uh, temperature uh, probe on the inside of the grill, that comes into here. And then everything feeds through there. So it's pretty simplistic, nice and accessible. Um, this thing back here, that's the pellet hopper. That's a 10-pound pellet hopper on the Pursuit. I, I mean, 
I, I really like the accessibility of this. It's, it's really, really nice. Uh, well thought, thought out. Uh, uh, a lot of other pillow grill manufacturers, in order to get to any of this, you have to, if you have to change out a hot rod or something like this, and you saw I did a video changing out a hot rod on a Rectech Mini, and uh, it was all from underneath. I had to lay down, and I had to get up there, and, you know, it was, it was kind of a pain in the butt. But if you had to do that on here, I have a feeling it would be a lot easier. I'm not saying we'll ever have to, but you just never know. So there's a tour of the inside of the uh, Pursuit Pellet Grill by uh, Pursuit Portable Pellet Grill by Camp Chef. I hope you enjoy this. I hope it enlightens you. If you've got questions, I am not, you know, don't ask electronic questions because I'm, I'm not an electronic genius and I'm not an electrician by any trade. Obviously, if you were to ever do this, always make sure it's unplugged. Never, ever, ever open up any electrical box that's got power running into it. Never. So there's your safety tip of the day, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. Tom Horseman at YouTube. Leave a comment. Thumbs up. And as always, can't say it enough. I do appreciate you watching. Thank you.